Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to my Mega Man X2 re 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 replay, whatever. Um, yeah, we are done collecting our armor, hard tanks, e tanks, and everything that is necessary. So now we are going to the X Hunter levels for once. Or, yeah, once and for all, I mean. Well, I needed to restart the file, or which is basically the password, but just simplified. And yeah, I don't have more extra lives. I had to recharge uh, all of the tanks again. As you can see, I have an extra life also because I got it on the way. That's not really a problem. It takes no time. Probably a Mega Man X3 would be more annoying, clearly. Because it's not easier or it's harder to recharge all of your tanks. So that's why more than likely that one I'm gonna end up using the Super Nintendo emulator, so I just say state and I do it once. Yeah, you have to change sides there. The famous dash jump. Becomes a requirement later. I mean, it, it is already. Oh. Yep. Yeah, we'll have to deal with this again. I chose this side because it's the easier one, kinda. I was close. But yeah, you have to change sides whenever you. Th realize it's necessary. Oh yeah, I already made it to the um, first boss. You have to fight again the X hunters I think I'm fighting violent first. Yeah, fatty. Well, and it is kind of harder because now there are random platforms, so it will make the ball bounce differently too. That's actually very relative when you say it's harder. Sometimes it is for the better or for easier. Right, I'm using one tank at least. I think it's the only one I'm gonna end up using. Yeah, I will have to use the double shot more often. Seriously, the ball is using the most annoying pattern as possible to piss me off. There you go. What? How could we have overloaded my circuits? I'm dead. Oh, we certainly have time for another level. Can I save in between? I don't think I can. They won't. What would be the point? Can I even save in between Sigma levels? I shouldn't be able to. That would make no sense. Alright. I'm not recharging the tank I used. I still have three. Maybe I'm gonna end up using one or two at the very most in this level. Couldn't you get the Hadouken in this game? Or something special? I know there was some like hidden armor piece or something. Um, I think in the next level, not in this one. Honestly, I'm not going for it. Probably many of you will be telling me in the comments. By the time you tell me in the comments, I w would have been in this game already. So I don't have to bother. But I remember watching someone streaming and that person ended up getting some secret in, I think, in the next level of Sigma's Fortress or the x Hatters levels, whatever you want to call them. And actually, I remember how to get in there, but... I remember in that one spot in which you are supposed to find this capsule, there was nothing, so I think you needed to activate something first. I might read a guide for that, I don't know. If it is interesting enough, if it is the Hadouken, actually, I don't really want to, like, break the game so bad. 
I can perfectly beat it like this. Actually, I need to use the... Um, this thing. What is on the other side? I already made it to the boss. These levels are inc incredibly short. There are a couple of difficult sections, but it's not even that bad. Oh, am I fighting Grandpa Joe? Yeah, actually this is kind of an annoying battle. I might end up using the three remaining, at least a couple of uh, the tanks. Because you have to destroy these four things first, and then fight the guy directly. Like two big faces. This one is not too bad, there are four different sort of shooters. Just gotta be good at games and avoid the attacks. So I don't think in this one section I should be using a single tank, but in the next one I'll start doing it though. Probably I should just shoot normally, not rely so much on sh charged shots, I don't know. But yeah, it takes a while to take out every single one of these. Oh yeah, I think the crash thing... Wait, do I have it complete? Almost. I think destroy this uh, the, the whole of these four things. Do I have it complete by now? I should be able to perform it. So let me see how effective it can be. Yeah, I already beat the normal or oh, the first phase, and now you gotta beat the actual boss. Can I use it right now? I'm curious. If it works at all. Uh, yeah, okay, it's not that effective. I'm sure it is effective against other bosses. Well, if we're at work against the first phase, not against this one. Yeah, one of them is vertical shots and then diagonal. I think the closest I am, even if it's more risky, it's safer for making sure he actually takes the hits. So far I have used only one tank. I think in the next level I won't be needing to use more. This is actually the hardest of the bosses in my opinion. Yeah, I'm using another one. So this is the last one I should be using. Oh seriously? Didn't get him at all? It's poopy. Ah, there you go. Yeah, the double shot is very damaging in general. This is impossible. The prophecy must be fulfilled. No. You want it to be fulfilled. That's a typical bad guy excuse. You know, we're gonna do a cleansing and we wanna make a new world. For the better. Yeah, suck my cock. Alright, we'll have to save again. Well, it doesn't matter. Alright, should I refill tanks? I don't think I should, not right now. Probably for the um, very last level. Yeah, this is where you get this extra secret thing, which... I guess I'll find out by myself later, but I never needed it. This is not a 100% run anyway. Well, technically I already got everything which is necessary to consider it somehow a 100% run. What item do you need for you to get these things? Well, it doesn't matter if I don't. At least I'm recharging some... some of the second tank right now. 
Oh yeah, this is kind of a tedious part. There's one platform that's actually problematic. The rest is a piece of cake. I can go and get this three things. It's kind of risky. Not that much, actually. I should be safe if I use the fire thing once. Oh my god, you have to jump? Okay, that was stupid on my part. I'm not making that mistake again. Seriously, that was a dumb mistake. Whoa. Almost fucked up a simple jump. Like I do a lot of times anyway. Wouldn't be the first time I make such mistake. I play a lot of platformers and such, but still make a lot of these stupid mistakes. Alright. So you gotta use the very same platform until the very top, and of course you have to know when to change direction, otherwise you're gonna get stuck. Still doable, still easy. Oh, you have to use the same one. Do I? Oh yeah. Yeah, but I fucked it up, didn't I? There's no way to change it. Wait, can I actually make it up there? Nope. I'll have to do it again. Come on, it's not that bad. This guy's gonna respond every time. Ah, fucked it up. Do I really have... Okay, I'm getting confused here. Can't do anything anymore. Yeah. Gotta get back to the beginning. It used to be easier. I don't know. The recurring curse. There you go. There's something to blame? Yeah, that's what it is. Come on, you are not gonna get stuck in there. You should move. Right now, you should be able to move it to the right. There we go. And make progress. Yay. I think I need a platform regardless. Dude, you gotta be, be very fast with the jump skewer, as you can tell. There we go. That's not the last one. Oh yeah, that was the, actually the toughest. I was expecting some other. So yeah, if you get up there, you're gonna end up getting to this like hidden passage or whatever, you should be getting this extra capsule. But when I tried it some time ago, um, I couldn't do it basically or because there was nothing, so I needed to activate it by doing something else. Damn, I'm still able to recharge my... The second tank, I mean. I think I made it to the end. Oh yeah, you gotta use the fire thing a little bit. Well, I got some energy back apparently. Get off me. Okay, I think I can beat this guy without using a single tank. 
Let me see. Oh yeah, this is the Agile guy. That looks like Sigma. The hell, I mean. Yeah, you gotta go beat him up there, actually. This guy's not too bad. The thing is... He uses this little platforms or whatever. But you can attack him most of the time. Using even using those platforms for a few seconds. And those like bombs go anywhere. <laughs> Not really an issue. Let's see if I can do it without using a a tank. I think I won this. Yeah, that was easy. Yeah, it can be. Deal with it. I'm pretty sure your master doesn't give half of a shit about you. <laughs> He's not gonna care. Okay, I think now comes the... Um the boss rush, so I'm leaving that as well as the final area of the game and final boss and all that uh, for next part, so thanks a lot for watching I'll see you later